the commands of Jesus, as recorded in the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Amend your lives, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Follow me. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. If you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. But I say to you, do not swear an oath at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which hurt you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your Father that is in heaven. Be perfect, therefore, 
as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. When you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honoured by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. When you pray, go into your room and close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. When you pray, use no vain repetitions as the heathen, for they think to be heard for their much babbling. Do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. When you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them.
Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. First, remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. In everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Follow me, and let the dead bury the dead. Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Go. 
according to your faith let it be to you. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. As you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor copper in your money belts, nor bag for your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor staffs, for a worker is worthy of his food. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. When they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. Do not fear them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the rooftops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Don't be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Come.
Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Either make the tree good, and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad, and its fruit bad for a tree is known by its fruit. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Listen and understand. What goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If your hand or foot causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. If you want to be perfect, go, 
sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Give therefore to Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and give unto God those things which are God's. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must be careful to do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. But you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all brethren. Do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. When you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. If anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. If they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out, or look, he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. Oh, yeah. 
Learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near, at the doors. Keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Take, eat, this is my body. Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. These are the commands that the living Jesus gave. <laughs> 